He says, if you search for an app and get the results listed at the top of the screen, then press and hold on an app icon. You'll get menu of little actions, but that's not the feature. If at this point you start dragging your finger, you can move that app out of the search results. Your home screen will reappear and you can place that app icon on any of your home screens or in the folders on them. But if you already had that app on one of your home screens, it will remain there and you can place this duplicate app icon anywhere you want, including right next to the original icon. This confused me at first because I thought dragging the app had removed it from its usual spot. I was searching through my home screens looking for the screen where this app had gone missing from, but I couldn't find it because it wasn't missing. This does not work if you start your search from the lock screen. Uh, makes sense. Uh, okay. He says, I suppose this could be useful if you wanted to create different screens for use with different focus modes and yet have the same app in both. But if you need to remove one, remember to remove from the home screen rather than deleting the app. Yes. Very <laughs> Good advice. Whoops. Yeah. yeah. So, Don't get caught. Yeah. yeah, this 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 was added for focus modes. I think that was the main reason, right? Is because you can have different screens set up. Like I have one I that was just like a weekend screen or whatever that would become my default home screen, you know, when I'm not during the week. So it had more casual apps that I would use. Yep. Or new you know, like news widgets or I forget what I put on. Oh, I think I put the Apple TV widget so I could see my up next stuff and Yeah. Yeah. I don't yep. use it very much, but I, that was the idea when I set it up. And 